first thing you want to do with any presentation, and I really want to emphasize that a presentation is every time you communicate with someone other than yourself. So it could be in a meeting, it could be an interaction. So the first thing you always want to say to yourself is what do I want someone to think, feel, or do as a result of this presentation? So that's the first thing. Ask yourself, what is the purpose? Why am I giving this presentation? Once I've established that, and so often people don't, I don't know how often you hear presentations where you go, what was the purpose of this? What was the meaning? So why am I here? Why am I giving this presentation? Then you can begin to craft content. And the beginning of crafting content is what is my first statement? What comes out of my mouth initially that immediately captures what I call hooks your audience? So it's developing that moment that gets your audience to go, this information is going to be pertinent to me. Once one's done that, so number one, think, feel, and do, begin to hook your audience, and then focus not only on content, but equally on delivery. So that's so interesting. What is the biggest mistake that companies make in communication? And it doesn't matter what country I train in, what city I train in, what company I train in, the same errors occur around misunderstanding. People make assumptions, they take things personally, and I can encapsulate it in one word. In the absence of proper information, people come to their own conclusions. And we don't do a good enough job, any of us, on being clear and remembering that people, as Maya Angelou, the famous poet said, people don't always remember what you say. They remember the way you make them feel. So if we can just be more intentional and more conscious in our communication, we would have far less acrimony and far less conflict. So we're talking about what do individuals lack, and it's very personal because everybody's personality style is so different. But if we could all, and I would say this again universally, become better listeners, that's such a big part of communication. Often in communication we focus on what am I going to say? And while that's important, a big part of what I teach is do we listen to respond or do we listen to really understand? And that's just one of the many things. So presence, if I were to define the word presence, and you've asked me, how do we create presence? So I'm going to give you a simple tip, and that is light a fire. Presence, F-I-R-E, begins with how you feel about yourself. So how do you feel about yourself is the essence of presence. So there's no greater impediment to getting on well with other people than being ill at ease with yourself. So start with assessing relationship with self. And I remind everyone that I ever teach, you may as well like yourself because everyone else is already taken. So lighting the fire, how do I feel about myself? The eye of lighting the fire is to show genuine interest. Part of presence is also relaxing. And then to engage with a level of energy, excitement and enthusiasm, which is the E. The, what is the biggest piece of advice I give people who I mentor is you can't tell people what you can do. You have to show them. So, so often, and particularly in the CNN world, I have what we call video journalists who come in entry level and they say, I really want to be on air. And I say, you can't tell me you want to be on air, you have to show me. You have to make a demo tape. You have to take the opportunity. You have to produce something. And I think that's something I've identified. No amount of telling anybody substitutes for showing. If I see a talented young individual person, I'm delighted to mentor and really live by what Maya Angelou said, should if you get, give, and if you learn, teach.